Vitamin A for vision and cancer prevention. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know that more than 50% of American adults don't meet the recommended daily allowance for vitamin A. They don't get their vitamin A requirement. The, the vitamin A requirement you need each day is about 5,000 international units. The average intake from food is about 2,000 to 2,500. So it's about 50% short. And it's very easy to also take too much vitamin A and end up with vitamin A toxicity. Then when you have vitamin A toxicity, it's very serious because if it's in a woman of childbearing years, she can give birth to a child that has some very serious birth defects. In a woman's body, it can also uh, leach calcium out of bone. She ends up more prone to osteoporosis and osteoporotic fractures. The more common things you can see with vitamin A toxicity is the skin starts to peel, person starts to get really bad headaches, and it can also really damage the liver and some other internal organs. So you have to get the right amount of vitamin A every day. Not, most people don't get enough. Some people take supplements where they're getting way too high doses. Vitamin A has six major functions. The number one is, uh, function is that it's, uh, it helps with what's called cell differentiation. As new cells are developed from old cells, the cell has to fully mature into a complete adult cell. We call that differentiation. And it, without vit enough vitamin A, the cells don't fully mature into beautiful adult cells. That makes the cells much more prone to developing cancer, in fact. So vitamin A is a very important anti-cancer nutrient. And when cells, you know, have, when there's a lot of vitamin A deficiency, the cells go into what's called metaplasia, where they really are precancerous. The second function of vitamin A is that it helps the eye make chemicals for night vision. So people that have vitamin A deficiency, often it ends up, to a certain degree, they have night blindness, a very poor night vision. And vitamin A is, nor is required for the normal growth and development of, all, of most tissues in the body, including the tissues of the fetal body. If a, if a woman is pregnant, she needs the right amount of vitamin A. And for normal reproduction, both sperm and egg cells require vitamin A for normal cell production and maturation. And vitamin A is a very powerful antioxidant, so it quenches free radicals, helps to protect us against free radicals that can damage our genes and lead to mutations and maybe lead to cancer. And vitamin A has amazing effects on imp uh, optimizing the function of the body's immune system. So it helps us de decrease our risk of infection and also uh, helps to reduce risk of cancer through that effect on immune system function. So it, it, because people don't get enough vitamin A, it's good to get the missing amount of vitamin A from a high potency multiple vitamin. But the vitamin A should have no more than two to 3,000 IUs of vitamin A. I see a lot of multiple vitamins in the marketplace today that have 5,000 to 10,000 IUs of vitamin A. Taken over a long enough period, that can lead to vitamin A toxicity. I would strongly advise against that. Now, there have been certain situations over the years where vitamin A supplementation at high doses has been shown to be helpful. In cases of acne, it can actually shrink the sebaceous glands down and stop the over-secretion of sebum and you, so you don't get blocked pores and it can actually treat acne very effectively, but the high doses required end up causing liver damage and terrible headaches and, and very serious side effects. So you can't really use those doses. Also studies show that high doses of vitamin A can be very helpful for certain cancers, but the high doses, again, can have other toxic side effects. So pharmaceutical companies have made vitamin A look-alike drugs. So the drug Accutane that's used for acne is really a vitamin A-like drug. And it still has some toxicity, so you have to be very careful with that drug. But it is a vitamin A type of drug. There are also drugs that uh, oncologists use to treat certain head and neck cancers that are called retinoid drugs. Well, retinoids are vitamin A-like drugs. So they took the active properties of vitamin A and tried to make drugs that look like vitamin A. And they use them therape therapeutically. What's important is that some drugs actually block the absorption of vitamin A. So it's important to really understand vitamin A. You can learn all the details about vitamin A by clicking on the link below. You'll learn how to get just the right amount of vitamin A each day so you get optimal on vitamin A without any risk of toxicity. I think that's important for everyone. So click on the link, read the article, it'll make sense to you. 
Now at machinohealth.com you see my other research review articles, footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads and resources I've created. They're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references, so you'll see you're only getting evidence-based information from me on any topic that you're looking for. So you should use machinohealth.com as an ongoing reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.